Hello friends. Today we will look into diamond problem in Java. So we know that Java does not support multiple inheritance in classes and the diamond problem is the main reason for that. So let's say we have a class A which has some method foo and then there is class B which is extending class A and overriding the foo method. And similarly, we have another class C, which is also overriding the foo method. And now, let's suppose that if Java would have uh, supported multiple inheritance, and then we have class D, which is extending class B and C, and it has to call the super class foo method. So how would Java determine that whether it has to use the implementation from class B or from class C. So rather than providing some uh, hard way to do it, we can easily solve this problem using composition. So let's first look at some simple program to see how this problem can occur and how composition can help us in this case. Okay friends, so this is my Eclipse. Let's first create class A with foo method. So here is my class A. And let's say I have this public void foo method. That's it. Very simple method. Now let's create the class B which will be extending class A. Let's say new class B. And then I'll say public void foo b class implementation and now we will extend the a class let's just mark it with override annotation because this is like the best practice and then again we create the class C and let's just copy it from here and I'll say this is extends A so we have got our A class and B class which is extending A and overriding foo method and then C class which is also extending A and overriding foo method. Now let's create the class D and say Java allow extending B and C class. Although since Java does not allow, so that's why it is showing error, but let's just hypothetically think that it is allowing me to do. And then I have some test method. And here I want to utilize this foo method. So this foo method has to be called either from B or C, but Java cannot determine whether it has to use it from B or from C. So that's why Java does not allow multiple inheritance in classes. Now we will see how we can use composition to utilize this thing. So this is how we will do it. We will remove all the extents and we will create instances of b and c here so we'll say private b b new b and then private c c is equal to new c now if i have some test method and i want to utilize the foo method it is our decision to use it either from b or from c and we can clearly say b dot foo or if we want to use it from the c class then we can say c dot foo so you can see that 
we can easily utilize this foo method using composition rather than using inheritance let's see one uh, additional benefit of composition before we conclude this tutorial so let's suppose we have some utility method here like public void util b and we have some utility method here also and we want to use this in my d class so what we can do we can provide a wrapper around them so we can say public void util b and we can simply call b dot util b method so for outer world all the imp uh, implementation will be there in the d however internally we are using composition to utilize methods from b and c class so now you can see that how we can get diamond problem if we are going through multiple inheritance and that's why java does not support multiple inheritance because we can easily utilize the class methods using composition thank you thanks for watching bye bye